What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm at Lifestyle RV here in Reno. And I saw this truck camper I thought you guys might be interested in. Look at this. This is a truck camper called the Real Light. This is pretty nice, man. You'd have to obviously have a full-size truck for this one. Probably an eight-foot bed heavy-duty type truck because this is a pretty big camper I don't know a whole lot about truck campers but I I do know for a fact that this thing is huge <laughs> but look at this thing man this is what caught my eye this thing has a deck how many truck campers have you ever seen that have an actual living space outside man that is cool it's got a deck on the back I can already tell, looks like it's got all your uh, RV hookups, gray water, sewer connection. So it's got gray and black water. There's an outdoor shower if you want to wash off your feet, wash off your dog before you go inside the camper. There's your shore power hookup, cable and satellite. Here's your 120 volts, just for miscellaneous plugins for who knows what. You want to charge your e-bikes, you can do it right here on the side. Here's your exhaust right here for your furnace, I believe. City water, fresh water, fill. You got Titan jacks on all four corners. They are electric, so it looks like you can just push one button and they all go up. There's your main battery disconnect for uh, storing it in the winter. Let's see, what is this here? I'm assuming that's for some kind of, uh, maybe your battery tender or a battery hookup to your truck. Again, I'm not an expert on these truck campers, but I think that's what that is. Here's your stoppers, your bumpers. So when you push it into the back of your truck, it doesn't slam into uh, the metal parts of your bed. I like those frameless windows. But yeah, this is really what caught my eye was this deck. That is so cool. I'm assuming these fold in, they all compact flat, and then this just goes up against the back and becomes just a big wall in the back. And I see some uh, compartments there. That's gotta be going to the shower, I would assume. I don't really know exactly. But I know there's a shower in here, so that must be some kind of storage maybe next to the shower. Little safety net so the kiddos don't fall out through the gaps. Or to keep your dogs in. Nice big cables holding this thing up. I don't know what it's rated for, but I would assume it's got to be ready for at least, I don't know, 1,500 pounds or more, maybe 2,000 pounds. You get a bunch of people partying on this thing, I'd be a little concerned, but it must be designed to take several people out here partying. Nice, big, heavy-duty step. I like that. I don't like the weak ones that just flop around. Your typical RV door with the bug screen. Little grab handle going in. Nice floor. Got like a tile floor. This is how you go to the outside. Oh, it's got that very stiff hinge so the wind doesn't blow it. That's nice. I'm not gonna step out there because I don't know if this thing's fully set up for it. But yeah, that's cool how you have that little enclosed living space. You could back right up to the edge of a creek or something or to a lake and just have a beautiful lake view. That's nice. It's got a screen there too. Uh-huh, so storage, that's probably what that is. So yeah, those are probably storage compartments right here for all your toys and extra gear. And then you got like this barn door kind of sliding deal to go to the bathroom. Oh, oh it's a Palomino. So there's your toilet. It goes down to a black tank. And there's your sink. This is almost like a dry bath yeah because the toilet's here and you can block that off so that doesn't get wet take your shower right here 
Let me give you a little example of how tall that is. Got a little skylight. I'm 5'9 with no shoes on to give you an idea how tall that is. Here's your shower. That's nice, man. My wife would like that. A little bit of storage right there and access to your piping and whatnot. Got a window so you can get a view out there, let some fresh air in. Storage all along the top there. Here's a bench seat with cup holders. And, yep, this turns into a bed. So you can have two adults there, one kid here, or one adult here. So sleeps three adults, or maybe two adults and a little kid, and two small kids here. Just depends, but we can figure it out, I'm sure, how you want to do it. I think this is how it's done. There we go. Back into a bench. And then over here, you got a nice little uh, kitchen going on. There's your control panel for your water pumps, your lights, awnings, water heater, thermostat. Here's your pantry for all your food, or you can put clothes in there. Storage under the oven. You can bake some pizzas in there. Three burner stove, very nice. I like this big sink, man. That's that's really nice. I like that. Nice big sink. There's your faucet. Vent fan, microwave, more storage up top. And there's your TV, so you can swing that TV out so these guys can watch. Or you can turn it around this way so mom and dad can watch. More storage. Wow, there's a lot of storage on this thing. Underneath, more storage there. Cubbies along the headboard. More storage, more storage. More storage. Very nice. There's a wall plug right there. And then freezer for your ice cream and ice. Food for a couple days. This... That must be your solar charge controller. Yep, it says right there, solar charge controller. So this thing is solar ready. You got a vent here and then a, a vent with a fan over there. You got speakers for music or when you're watching those movies. But yeah, this is a pretty nice truck camper. I really like this bathroom, man. That bathroom is pretty nice for a truck camper. And then, like I said, a deck <laughs> on a truck camper. That is so cool. Love it. it. Makes me want to buy a big truck. Maybe uh, I need to go buy a Ram 3500 long bed and put one of these on the back. That's cool. Alright guys, hit that like button to support my channel, I appreciate it, it helps me out a lot. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this Palomino Real Light truck camper with a deck on the back and a full-size dry bath. What do you think about this thing? That is cool. Love it. If you're in Reno and you want a camper, come by uh, Lifestyle RV. Give Keith a call. Later, guys. Have fun.